Oh. My water has a little taste of my Celsius still. It's kind of a strange flavor. But let's get this ball rolling, shall we? Shall we, shall we, shall we? Um, I'll, I'll kind of introduce myself as people are getting on. Um, my name is Dawn Schaefer. I'm at Dawn Gets Waxy on like every platform. Um, not like every platform, on every platform. Um, you can find me at, at Dawn Gets Waxy. Um, and I wasn't joking in my description. I am really bad. It's like my brain has to compartmentalize things. So I'm really bad when I see friend requests. If I like haven't met you in person, I probably struggle hitting the accept friends and I get overwhelmed. So my <laughs> don't be mad. Introduce yourself the next time we're together, like at a Sensi event, like the next thing we do together. Um, and then we can be online friends, but all my stuff is public. So you're not going to miss anything if you want to follow along and get ideas. Okay. Cause I know we're talking about social media. I'm just going to say that right now. <laughs> it's my one awkward thing. Um, that's not true. It's one of my many awkward things. Um, but, <laughs> um, yeah, or introduce yourself in a bathroom at SFR. That's how I met Amanda. She, um, introduced herself to me in the bathroom line at SFR and BFFs forevermore. So, um, I am director of team How I Met Your Warmer. I'm based out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Shout out Midwest. Um, and <laughs> if you want to shout out the Midwest, that is, um, and, uh, yeah, I'm going to talk to you about social media presence. How about them apples? Um, and I even like made notes for y'all tonight. Usually I kind of fly off the cuff and just like say what's on my mind and I'll probably do that a little bit. <laughs> I won't lie. <laughs> That's pretty normal. But, um, I, I wanted to make sure there were some things that I for sure told you guys and didn't forget. So I like legit like made notes for you guys <laughs> so I would remember some of the things that I wanted to for sure cover um so I pretty much uh, like work my business entirely on social media um social media and texting that's that's pretty much it um and so I feel very passionately about the fact that um social media is a blessing as much as it can be a curse and I want it to be a blessing for you and to help your business um and not be something that hinders your business and so I want you guys to um kind of follow along with me um don't feel attacked if you feel attacked though it's probably something you need to fix on your social media so just go and look at it fix it if it needs fixing and move on. We can't change the past. We can only move forward and do what's right going forward. Right. Um, and I'm not saying what I'm telling you is entirely right, but I'm going to tell you eight and a half years of experience. I kind of, I've done a lot of research and I've, I've worked a lot of online business in eight and a half years. So, um, so the first thing, does this even apply to you? Do you work your business on social media? Are you, is your Instagram, your Facebook, your Twitter, whatever social media you're using, are they tools for your business? Do you promote your business in those spaces? Yes, yes, no, no. If you don't promote your business on social media, this won't matter to you. Um, but if you look looking to promote your business on social media, or you are promoting your business on social media, then this will. Okay. So, um, if you're promoting your business on social media, I want to tell you a couple of things. One, that means you have made your social media a storefront for your business. Okay. What that means to you. If social media is a storefront for your business, then you need to realize that everything that goes through that social media filter represents your business. Does that make sense? And so I'm going to strongly, strongly encourage you to keep your business, your personal business, not all your personal business, but your personal business when it comes to politics, controversial things, your bad negative days. Um, keep that shit off Facebook. 
keep it off Instagram. And that's not to say you can't say that you have a bad day. You can say you have a bad day, but then re reference it on how you're fixing it, right? Um, talk about how how you're doing some self help se self help stuff today, some some self care today because today is just not your day, right? Um, adjust it so it has a per a special personal um, positive twist on it. Because here's why. People who are constantly sharing their negative BS, their, their political views, their controversial things, and I know that's very popular right now. Everyone's been very stuck in their houses for the past six months, and they're very over it. Hi, we all are. Um, but nobody cares. You're not changing anybody's mind on social media. They're adults. They've made up their mind. You're not changing it. So, like, sharing it doesn't do anything but like cut people off it gives it gives people like a one-way street it gives them a reason to unfriend you or unfollow you or snooze you and if they snooze you because of your bs then they are snoozing your business and so if social media is a platform for your business then you need to filter what you do on social media through that business lens Okay. Um, and so it's just not the place. If you, I, you can have whatever opinions you have, but you are literally never going to change somebody's opinion through a social media post. There's no reason to get on and post it. There's no reason to argue about it. Like it does nothing for no one. And I'm the first person to be like, man, I've snoozed a lot of people. 30 day snooze feature. I've snoozed a lot of people in the past few months snoozed a lot of people and if I snooze you because of your BS then I'm not seeing the rest of your life either and that's the same thing that's happening with your business so Facebook Instagram your social media if it's used for your business it's not a place for the crap okay Does that makes sense um don't be the turd <laughs> this is my this, this is my quote right now don't be the turd in the pool don't be the turd in the pool. Don't be the person who poops in the pool. Okay? Don't do it. And all those things are turds in the pool. Don't do it. Don't be that person. <laughs> Don't be the turd in the pool. Um, Because you know what happens when somebody poops in the pool, everybody has to get out, right? And people are going to get out of your pool if you're the turd in the pool. So don't do it. Just don't do it. <laughs> don't be the turd in the pool. <laughs> oh, goodness. Why that's my quote lately, but I've like... I feel it to my core. I feel like so many people are like the turds in the pool right now. And I'm like, you are literally pooping in my positivity pool and I need you removed. Snooze. <laughs> it just doesn't do it. It doesn't do good for anybody. It doesn't do good for anybody. Go complain to your best friend. I did it to Amanda today. Amanda will tell you. I, I, I texted Amanda today and I was literally like word vomiting my frustrations and guess what I felt a hell of a lot better afterwards and now I can get on here and tell you guys don't be the turn in the pool I didn't go to Facebook and complain about it I didn't go to my Instagram stories and complain about it I went to Amanda bitched about it and got it out of my system and moved on find your friends bitch about it there talk about the controversial things there keep it off of your business okay that's the end of that rant maybe for now <laughs> so what I do want you to do on social media is be authentically you. Um, one of one of my favorite things Heidi has said is that there, like you are you, you are you. There's no other you, right? There's no other Dawn. There's no other Amanda. There's no other you. No one else will match you. No one else will be you. No one else can jump into your skin and be you, right? There's no one better than you. And so your authenticity on social media is going to be huge. And authenticity is one of our core values in Sensi, right? Is to be yourself, be exactly what people expect you to be. You don't need to put on a front. You don't need to put on makeup. I don't have makeup on today. I don't put on makeup hardly ever. Um, you don't need to doll yourself up. Nobody cares. My hair is driving me nuts today. I have it pinned back. I look nutso. It's fine. It doesn't matter. No one cares. Spoiler alert, no one cares. They just want you to be you. They want you to be excited about what you do. They want you to love on them and care about them um, and, and be authentic with them. Like you don't have to do, yeah, Amanda, me and Amanda are like 
here you go. <laughs> Take it. It is what it is. Um, and so like people just don't, they don't care. We think that people need to see the spit polished version of you and they don't. That's unrealistic, right? And so much of social media, we try to make this like highlight reel of like perfection and, and like, it's really nice and glossy to look at, right? It's really nice to look at, at the, at the glossy perfection things, but nobody can live up to that. Who wants to join a business where they have to be perfect all the time? Who wants, who's, who wants to join a business where they feel like they have to have their shit together all the time? Like you don't, you don't have to have your shit together to be good at this business. You just have to be authentic and share a product that you love, right? And so be authentically you. We're now at 200,000 Sunsea consultants, 200,000. You are one in a pile of 200,000 around the world, right? And so they can go and buy Sensi from 200,000 other people. So what's connecting somebody to you? Okay, someone who connects to me isn't going to connect to Amanda or potentially or someone, you know, one of you guys. Um, and so what is it about you that's going to keep people coming back? And so I want you on your social media to present yourself just as you are. That's what people want. They just want you. Um, and I think even, especially this year, more than ever, people are craving like genuine, authentic human interaction because we're not getting it in the real world right now. Right. There's, there's not the same kind of meetups and possibilities that there, that there were eight months ago. Um, and so people right now, they just, they literally are craving real human connection. And so don't be fake. Like they're, they're not going to be drawn to fake. They want you to be real. I just want you to be real. Um, and so I want you to share you. Um, share Sensi in the you realm, in the real you realm. Um, and so whatever that looks like, when you're changing your wax, when you're doing your laundry, when your kids have their buddies thrown around the room, um, when you're making samples, when you're making customer mail, whatever it is you're doing with your business and it's affecting your everyday life, share that stuff. People are going to be, people want to buy from someone who not only shares their product, but uses their product. So like the more you can share, like, oh, I changed the oils in my diffusers today. I'm changing the wax today. Look at me using a cotton cleanup. Look at me putting washer with some laundry liquid in my um, washer. Um, look at me doing dishes with my dish soap. Look at me um, spraying body spray body mist on myself or using a lotion or whatever it is. Like if you're not using the products and showing you're using the products, you're going to have a really hard time convincing other people to do it. You should always be your best customer. And then you should always be sharing that on social media. Those are the things you want to share. Um, share that real life stuff. The real life stuff always is going to win. And so a mistake a lot of people make is they get into flyer groups or they get, they spend all these time, all this time making graphics and just elaborate things. They are time sucks. They are time sucks that social media doesn't even like anyways. That flyer you shared, boo, it's not going to get you likes. It's not going to get you followers. It's not going to get you the algorithm bumps. Literally... Facebook especially is a place to build relationships. And this business is a relationship business. So this should be very, very easy for a Sensi consultant to connect in the realm of Facebook, Instagram world. But we're too busy worrying about the sale and not the share. And so I want you to stop thinking about the sale. The sale will come when you're authentically sharing. And so instead of sharing a link, instead of sharing a flyer, again, share you doing laundry, share you washing the dishes, share you counter cleaning your stove. I don't care what you have out and about in your house, but live flyer free. As Amanda said, share your own photos, share your own videos. Don't copy and paste someone else's status. Don't copy and paste someone else's stuff. Literally live your life in a way where Sensi is part of it and share that life filled with Sensi. And I promise you, your algorithms will shoot up. You'll get way more likes. You're going to get way more comments. You're going to get way more people curious about what you're doing. Stop thinking about the sell and start thinking about the share. Your Facebook or your 
Instagram in your bios at the top should already show that you're a Sensi consultant. Nobody should look at your account and be confused whether you sell Sensi or not. I don't care if this is a hobby for you or a job for you. Like you should literally be oozing Sensi. Nobody should struggle finding your link. You can literally put that in your account and it shows up at the top. It should be on your cover photo. It should be somewhere multiple times where people are not confused about that you're a Sensi consultant. That should never be a question for somebody when they go to your account. Ever. I don't have to share a link with anybody. My they can find my link 500 ways from Sunday. Like you don't nobody is confused that I'm a Sensi consultant when they go to my account. And nobody should be confused that you are either. Facebook blocks links because Facebook is a relationship business, not a selling tool. It is literally in the bylaws that you sign when you agree to join Facebook that you are not going to use it as a selling platform. And you can't be mad about it because it's a free tool and you're lucky to have it. And so you can't be mad that they don't want you using your, their platform to sell because you literally agreed to not sell things on their platform unless you use their marketplace. And you can't do that with Sensi because that's a DSA rule. So <laughs> stop trying to sell, share. If people ask where, what soap you're using or what laundry you're using or whatever, hey, it's mine. It's Sensi. Just go to my website. You can snag some. Text me and let me know which sense you want. I'll text you and I'll get your order from you. Nobody should be confused that you're a Sensi consultant. Nobody should be confused that you don't have your links spewed all over the place. A link looks like you're selling. A price looks like you're selling because <laughs> you are. And people are put off by things like that. It's one of those things that gives direct sales kind of a bad name because people think that they're just you're just trying to take things and shove it down their throat instead of just sharing something you love. Cause you know they're gonna love it if they try it, but why should they love it? Show them, show them why they should love it in the way that you share it in your life. Okay, stop the sell, start the share. <sighs> Rant, rants, I told you I would go on rants. So no links, that should be easy to find. Don't copy and paste other people's statuses. That's another thing that'll get you buried real quick. Because as soon as you share someone else's status, it can be doing great for them. But as soon as you share it, Facebook marks your status as spam. So no copying and pasting. Your vernacular is not the same as mine. If you like an idea I have, my stuff's public. I don't care if you steal the idea that I have, but write it in your own words, write it in your own terminology, use your own photos, do your own thing with it. You can easily take someone else's idea and make it your own, okay? You don't have to copy and paste. And if you copy and paste, people are going to, not people, the algorithms realize that you are spam, you are not authentic, and they bury it. Okay. You're giving up graphics, right? Using your personal photos. I don't care if you're good at personal photos. It doesn't matter. Like I said, authentically you, authentically you. If suddenly everything looks perfect and that's not who you are, that's not authentic. Okay. Stop, stop trying to be this perfect human. We are not, who can I throw out there? We are not Avon where we all have to wear black suits to go to present, okay? We are not, um, we're not selling Unique or Avon or Mary Kay or what other makeup ones are out there um, where you have to be dolled up all the time, right? You get to literally just be yourself. Yes, perfect. I came home to a accident and I posted how to clean it on Facebook. Perfect. Perfect. That's perfect marketing. And somebody's going to go, what? One thing that, like a thing that always gets attention is when you, when I change my wax and I use a cotton cleanup or I use cotton balls and people are like, what? And I'm like, I literally share this twice a week. And every time people are flabbergasted about using cotton as a way to change your wax. Every time. Every time. I do it twice a week. 
like y'all missed it the past the past like three years cool cool um so so like don't feel bad about sit, ch doing the same things over and over again in the morning I make my bed and I spray down my whole bedroom my curtains my carpet my bed my pillows with Scentsy Fresh every morning and I put it in my Instagram stories which go to my Facebook stories if you're not using stories by the way start using stories okay um if you signed up for SFR Jilly Sue's Expo um, or breakout on Instagram is really, really great um, about like posting on your um, Instagram timeline correctly and then what to post in your Instagram stories and things like that. Super, super good. I'm going to like totally pass the ball off to her so I don't get into like a deep, dark Instagram is my favorite. So I could get into like a spiral about it. Um, but she like uses so many things that I use in my systems. And so I just wanted, I, I was watching it. I was like, yes, girl, preach girl. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. So I'm just going to pass it off to her because she says all the things that I would tell you. Um, so if you, I'm sure she put it up on YouTube. I'm sure she did. Um, and it'll be in, um, It'll be in the in the training center after the 30 days are up as well. So you'll have access to it even if you didn't go to SFR and she hasn't put it on her YouTube yet. I haven't looked to see. Um, it will be around. It will be around. Um, but she has a lot of uh, Instagram tips on her YouTube. So um, follow people on, by the way, follow people on social media who are really good at what they do. Okay. Um, I do not mind you following me. Like I said, I'm at Dawn Gets Waxy on Instagram. It's my favorite one to do. Um, and I do stuff on everything too. But um, Instagram is my favorite. And um, who else is really good? Uh, Chloe Cox is at the Chloe Cox Ray Ray. If you search Ray Ray, she'll come up. Um, who else do I really love on that I've been like loving lately? Um... I'm trying to think of some like nonsensey people. Uh, Ashley, she's A S H L I E, I think. Ashley Mon Monstad. I'm going to probably butcher her last name. She's the top beach body coach, which sounds really weird, but she um, she's just super real in her stories and it's like really refreshing. Um, and so, like, go follow people on social media who. Um, kind of inspire you and who you can watch for really good ideas and um, and just like go click on people and follow them that sounds really weird and then start engaging like their stuff comment on their stories um, that boosts your engagement they start to follow you that's how you meet new people um, another thing to do is um, to really utilize social media as a tool to meet new people <laughs> because you can't really go out and about right now. So, um, Facebook groups or Instagram, um, handles that are things that you love. If you're really into pets, yes. Did I say it right? Molstad? Is that how you'd say it? I think it's most, I think that, I think it's Molstad. Um, she's really great. Uh, she, so literally she's like, I'm, I do beach body as my workouts and she is just really motivational. Um, but follow things like I followed her cause she's a workout person and she, but she's all about positive body image and she's not about like being super skinny and she's, you know, she's very real and, um, she likes verb bars like I do and drinking and having a good time and good food and pool time. And like, you just relate to people. Right. And so be authentic um, be you and connect with people who are like you, um, and people you relate to. And then you can take those ideas that they share that appeal to you and kind of turn them into sensey things. Right. Um, I know I am not a TikTok person. That's like the newest social media thing. And that is just like, not my jam. Um, I just don't understand it. My like little brain can't grasp the little video thing. I just don't get it. Um, which is funny cause I love Instagram stories. So I don't know why TikTok is confusing to me, but it is. Um, but I know people are killing it on Instagram. So, or on TikTok. So if you are like into the little videos, like make TikTok your social media platform, man, go out, make the cute videos. You can search Sensi on TikTok and see the things people are doing. But like, there's people blowing up their businesses cause they're good at TikTok, like blowing up their businesses. And people are doing that on every platform, but it's because they are authentic. They are themselves. They're sharing their business. They're not trying to 
sell their business. Does that make sense? So think about those interests, connect with people, comment on their stuff, like on their stuff, join groups on Facebook. Like I am in Julie Carrillo kills TikTok. Um, there's a girl named Madison who kills TikTok. She's a sensey person. Uh, Madison, what's your last name? Mm, you know what? I do have it handy. If you're a TikTok person, hold on, hold on. I got it. I got it because somebody just shared it. I use TikTok and then post the videos on my pages. Ooh, that's a good idea. Multi-use. Um, Madison Doer. Doer? Doer. D-U-E-H-R. Madison Dwyer? Doer? D-U-E-H-R. D-U-E-H-R. Madison is spelled normal. <laughs> um, but she literally, since February has grown from a group of 49 to a group of 127 from a team of 49 to a team of 114. She has one director under her. Um, and so literally that's because of TikTok. Just FYI. <laughs> I wish I could figure out TikTok because <laughs> apparently it's the place to be. It might need to be my new thing. <laughs> I don't I don't understand it. Yes, Madison Dewar. Uh, Dewar, Dwyer, Dewar. I'm not good with words. I'm an English degree, but I'm not good with words. Names are hard. Um, and so just FYI, there are lots of social media things out there and um, find yours and like run with it. And don't expect things to happen overnight. Okay. Like TikTok's the up and coming thing. So I think a lot of things happen faster there. It'll definitely slow down. Um, hop on now. Right. But like Things like Facebook and Instagram, it takes time to build relationships. It takes time to build a following. So don't, like, just keep being consistent. Just like your business, consistency is key. The more consistent you are, the more consistent your business becomes, the more consistent everything around you becomes. And so consistency is always key in this business. Authenticity and consistency. Authenticity, consistency. Okay. Um, and just build those relationships. This is a relationship business. Um, and so your long-term success comes from building relationships, not being a salesman. Building connections with people, not being a salesman. You do have to talk to humans in this. So like, if you don't like talking to humans, you might want to find a different job <laughs> because you do need to talk to humans in this. Social media will not sell for you, okay? Um, I don't care how authentic you are. You take the relationships you build on social media into real life and you text them and you call them and you interact with them and you follow up with them person to person. The social media is the platform for building the connection, but you still have to talk to them one-on-one -on -one and get the sale. Does that make sense? So no more selling on social media. You're sharing, you're relationship building, you're connecting, you're meeting new people, and then you're going to one-on-one -on -one to get the sale. Yeah? Yeah. That was the end of my notes. And I kept it at exactly half an hour. Yes, I'm usually very long winded and it turns out sometimes if I take notes, I can actually keep things kind of where I wanted them to. So does anybody have any questions about social media that I did not address that you would like me to try to address? I make no promises. I may or may not have the answer, but I will find you an answer. I come from corporate training, so I will find you an answer. <laughs> If I don't know the answer right off the top of my head. Um, yes, people engage more when you're not trying to sell. And I literally, oh, I have a really good example of this. Um, my friend Taylor literally posted a status yesterday. And it was about like a custom six pack. And she was like, it's it's one for six and three for 17. And five buy five, get one free is $30 and blah, blah, blah. Like, this long status, right? Short and sweet is better as well. This long status and this adorable photo of her with also a graphic. And you've already heard my rant about graphics, right? With also a graphic. And graphics have their place, don't get me wrong. But 
for the most like nine and a half times out of 10, you don't need a graphic. So this graphic, this cute photo of her and this long spiel about how much wax is and can I build a custom wax for you? And she's like, I made this really, this post about me in my Starbucks this morning and it's getting so much interaction. And then here's this post and it's getting no interaction. What's going on? And I was like, okay, take out the graphic, leave just the photo of you take out all the sales information, the link, the pricing, all of it, and just say, hey, who wants me to build a six pack for them? Here's all of our fragrance categories. Tell me what you like. Do you wanna know how quickly she had interaction on that post? And lots of it, like instantly. She literally deleted the old one, put a new one up with just a simple, simple little thing let me make a six pack for you. Pick your favorite scent categories and the photo of her with some wax. And she had like double digit likes, double digit comments within an hour. Cause it was authentic, real, wasn't salesy, was super fun, right? And I did it today. People, people want the connection and people love the chance for you to customize things for them. People love things that are custom, right? And like, who, like, I love picking scents for people. Like I'm in the fragrance business. Like I'll pick scents for you all day long. Like I love doing that. So I have a no problem. You want me to pick all your scents for you? Okay. What are your likes and dislikes? I'll get you all up in there. Um, so like, Short and sweet, keep it to the point, don't try to sell it, make it something fun. That was engaging, right? For her to make a six pack for somebody, people were like, ah, oh, sweet. And literally people in the comments, fruity, manly, woodsy, like they're all like sharing what they like. And she literally got a party in a couple hours. Ooh, a poll in her VIP for what fragrance family people liked and what to send, so she knew what to send them for samples. That's a great idea. People love a surprise. It's why, it's why some people are really good at like the whiff box scent crate thing. Like people love a surprise. They like, they like a mystery and they don't have to think. It's why people like bundles, like, and you don't have to do like, hey, one of my favorites has been the mini fan diffuser bundle. Pick your color, mint, pink, gray. Pick your fragrance family, right? Fruity, bakery, woodsy, whatever, right? And you get a mini fan and a set of pods. Yep, $25. Exactly the price we charged for it. I'm not doing anything special for it. I'm not, I'm not doing it. But telling them it's a bundle makes it feel special. Giving them options makes it feel special. But they're not having to go and search a whole website and think about it. Like if you're gonna do a salesy thing, like make it fun, make it options, make it a mystery, make it a bundle. Um, and you don't post any pricing, you don't post a link, you let them have some choices and freedom in it, but also not have some choices and freedom, right? You narrowed it down. So, oh, I love it when, I love when customers want me to pick their fragrances. Yes, people wanna be cared about. Yes, girl. Like we are literally in this time where people are like, there's people I'm, my day job is in the grocery store business. So I have not gotten this quarantine thing everyone else is getting. I've been out in real life this whole time. So like none of this makes sense to me because I've been working in it. So, but most people are not essential workers and they're not out in the general public right now and so they are literally just wanting you to pay attention to them they're craving your attention they want to feel special they want you to reach out to them like you have to stop thinking that as a consultant you're bothering them by reaching out to them you have to stop thinking that you're bothering people by posting your business on social media you're not bothering people by posting your business why is it bothering people Stop it. You're not bothering people by posting your business. People post their business all the freaking time. Like, why is it different? Because we're a direct sales association company. Who cares? It's still a business. It's legit. This business makes me more money than my day job ever will. Ever. Ever. 
by leaps and bounds. It, it will make me more money than my day job ever will. And so, like, this, like, people, no one else pays your bills but you. And so, God bless them, release them, okay? If, <laughs> if they don't want to be part of your life because you have a awesome sensey job, bye. Elsa that shit and let it go. The people who mind don't matter and the people who matter don't mind. It's my favorite Dr. Seuss quote. Cool. Stop being afraid to post on social media. You can post all you want on social media, but do it in a share. Do it in a share way. The second they care is when they start feeling like it's inauthentic and you're selling. If you're sharing in your life, nobody will notice, nobody will care, and you will turn the biggest skeptic into the biggest Sensi fan. I've done it over and over and over again in my eight and a half years. <laughs> but you have to do it in an authentic way where you're sharing instead of shoving it down your, their throat and making them feel like a dollar sign. That's it. That's it. Don't make them feel like a dollar sign. Care about them. So. Yeah. And and I'll tell you what. In eight and a half years, if someone's unfollowed me because of Sensi, I didn't notice. I don't care. Bye. Like, if you can't be excited about my success, then we probably weren't that close to begin with. Right? Because real, real people in my life, if they're excited for me, they're cheering me on. If they're my friends, they're cheering me on. Um, and that's just, that's just real talk. If they're not cheering me on, then they don't really care about me. If I'm just going to be really honest. So, bye. Bye, deuces. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Sayonara. Um, how many more? Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> Ciao. I, I don't know any other languages, I don't think, but... <laughs> That's how I feel about that. Um, just being really honest. Uh, yeah. So, go out there. I'll let you guys go now. I kept you long enough. But go out there. Share authentically. Be genuine. Care about others. Turn off the sell and turn on the share. Okay? And and if, you're, if your social media, you're using for business, everything through the business filter everything through the business filter okay everything through the business filter turn off the negativity turn off the controversial things turn off you're not changing anybody's mind on social media so just turn it off take it to your bffs deal with it there come back to social media and i i'll, I'll tell you what it's been interesting as how i'll end it i'll end it this way um i am like i share sensi all the time I share it all day, every day. Um, and I've really, in the past few months, started sharing a lot of, like, positive posts and really, like, quotes and, like, uplifting things. I don't even know how to, like, word it, Amanda. What what do I... I've been sharing lots of little positive nuggets. Um, and I literally every day get multiple messages from people who are like, thank you for all your positivity. Like so many people are just sharing crap right now and they're so negative and they're so upset and they're so frustrated and that's all they share. And I can't hardly stand it anymore. And coming into your account is like coming into a breath of fresh air. And so literally people are craving it, craving it, like craving it, like like water, like they are craving positivity and authenticity and, and a breath of fresh air. They're craving it. So give it to them, man. Just give it to them. You can do that. That's Sensi's culture. That's like, that should be like breathing to you. So I love you guys. Thanks for letting me rant. Thanks for listening on this wonderful Thursday evening. I hope you go kick the last day of July's ass. Just just kick it in the rear. And get all the sales. Um, and just close out this first month of incentive and the last month of the catalog like it's your job. Because it is. Um, and have a great night. Bye.